Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess it was sort of a plan, but at the same time, I don't know that we ever counted on it, you know? It was kind of just a, a, a dream, I guess. Um, but I think, yeah, most, most of our favorite movies have all come through here, and our favorite filmmakers have all premiered films here at one point. And I even came 10 years ago just as a fan and, and knew nobody and, and had a great time, and I knew the audiences were really good. And, and a, a sweet film like this, too, we thought could, could maybe... Um, you know, play pretty interestingly here because uh, a lot of the stuff is can be pretty serious, and and uh, maybe uh, people would like to be cheered up. <laughs> uh, maybe that's why we went to Paris. Maybe <laughs> we uh, we definitely dreamed about going to Paris, and then uh, we realized that it, it, oddly enough, I think like. The way it is in the movie with Nick wanting to go to Paris for the film was probably how it was in real life. Um, yeah. But it was, it was worth it. yeah, and it was definitely like not just all fun and games going across oh, no. the, the t uh, <laughs> from the LA to New York. It was it was like rough, like 15 passenger van, smelly, like long hours, very intense. And, Bad food. Um, but it was like surely an adventure. I mean, it was fun. Yeah. Now looking back, but like at the time, we're just like cranky we're and cranked up. The, the the cheapest motels with like blood, blood stains, stains yeah, really bad neighborhood. Underwear, like dirty women's yeah, we found underwear. Yeah, dirty underwear in one of our hotel rooms. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough. I mean, Elvis uh, Brendan was was awesome. Like he he was so cool and fun. But then uh, uh, Angus Divine was just such a character he, he was so funny like it, it didn't doesn't necessarily come across in the film but he was cracking us up the whole time and uh i don't know they both seem like really cool people i think you would choose elvis i'm pretty sure to get married yeah to, like personally to do your marriage oh. <laughs> or to do your wedding oh yeah or uh or david the little kid from the <laughs> playground he'd, he'd be a great priest Yeah, um, Nick was like, they were setting up the cameras and getting everything fixed. He's like, go make friends with them. I'm like, how am I, how am I supposed to do that? He was like, go play with them. I'm like, okay. And I like ran in there and like went tag it and just started running. And they all like really got into it. And just so amazing how easy it is to make friends with kids. You can't like do that to an adult. You have to like make a conversation. <laughs> I've tried several yeah. times, but like it's so much different like interacting with kids versus adults because. You have to make conversation. You just seem like a creep for coming up to someone, but kids, kids are great. But you don't seem like a creep for coming up to someone on the playground. I know. Oh, and then they like they didn't know how old I was. Someone thought I was like 15, and then the other one thought I was 32. <laughs> and it was oh, and one girl was like bullying me. She was like pushing me around. Yeah, there's a bigger girl who really yeah. Charlie around. I felt like a kid again, and I was like I could be very scary to her, but I don't want to make her cry. It's funny too, like looking at the pictures from that day, it's really hard to pick Charlene out because she looks like one of the kids. Like, like yeah, like I blend right into <laughs> yeah. the three-year-olds. 